Master chocolate maker Fritz Knipschult has been turning out his fine, eclectic truffles for the past seven years, from bonbons with the spicy heat of tangerine and red chili to liquid caramels encased in dark chocolate and topped with sea salt, and many more. If you go to Chocopology, his chocolate lounge and cafe in South Norwalk, Connecticut, you can see how Fritz and his team produce these chocolates for gourmet stores across the country. So this is a setup for our dark chocolate. Fritz explains that raw chocolate must be tempered first in a tempering machine, which melts chocolate at the proper temperature, maintains it, and allows the cocoa butter to crystallize. When it cools, you get shiny, crisp chocolate. Here, Andrew Dixon fills the mold with dark chocolate before setting it on a machine to shake out the air bubbles and drain away excess chocolate. So this is how your depth of your chocolate is inside. When it cools, it forms a chocolate shell that then can be filled. This one has a strawberry lemon thyme ganache inside. Another features a dark chocolate filling. When the inside is set, it's back to the tempering machine for another dose of chocolate. Spreading it out forms the bottom of the truffle. Designs can be painted into the molds with contrasting chocolate. Here, Sonia Martinez applies a swirl before adding a white chocolate shell and mint ganache filling. At another station, truffles get a dusting of edible copper before getting packed into colorful boxes. It's a lot of work, but now you know why Fritz's chocolates sell for $60 a pound, and in the shop, they go for $1.50 a piece. But if you're the owner, you get to sample whatever you like. I'm Paul Lynn for Dow Jones Online.